You can't tell me it's too expensive. You can only tell me that it's a stupid idea. Too dumb baby. <laughs> I love good NASA slander, man. That's fucking my favorite. With Willie Simon and Eric Freed. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to Too Dumb Babies. I'm Willie Simon. I'm Eric Freed, man. And this is Two Dumb Babies. <laughs> I knew you were going to do it. One, <laughs> one day. <laughs> one day there will be something else. That is that the space. sign in now. Dude. Yeah. I guess, yeah. I guess that is what we do now. This is Two Dumb Babies, the podcast with Willie Simon and Eric Friedman. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Norm MacDonald said the perfect joke is when the punchline is just a repeat of the setup. Yeah. That's the most perfect joke you can do. So, perfect sign in, I guess. I think right? so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I just got back from fucking Hawaii. Yeah. That was nice. Like two days ago. Yeah. What uh what'd you do? I just watched I watched fireworks. I uh <laughs> I pretended uh I like tried to lose my like mainland accent. Every time I go yeah. home, I like spend a week being like, Sup bro, what you it- fuck? I like look at <laughs> I'm in the mirror like Sup boy, you what? Say, what s- boy? You fuck uh you say trying to lose your mainland <laughs> accent, but it sounds like you're trying to gain <laughs> their accent. Yeah. That's not Because well, that's what accent. I had at first, and then I'd lost it over time. So I'm trying to lose. Yeah, I guess I guess I'm a man with no country, you know? <laughs> Truly that's a man with true. no flag. <laughs> <laughs> no accent. Yeah, you yeah. don't need an accent. Yeah. You got an accent, though. Everyone's got I an do. accent. Yeah. Yeah, like yes. a West Coast accent. Yeah. But the West... I don't really have what you think of as the West Coast accent. I have the, like, lack of an accent. No, but the, lack of an accent is an accent. Yeah. That's such a, you know, such a fucking Americanized way of thinking, <laughs> dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, like, pronounce most letters and stuff. Yeah. That's an accent. <laughs> I don't know. And you hear, like, a French guy. He's yeah. got, you know, if, he's, if you're just a French guy, you're like, I don't have an accent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're just around French people all the time, like, yeah, I guess he's right. <laughs> But you go to the East Coast, you'd be like, look at fucking Eric, and he's pronouncing all his letters. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how, how as, as we went, went to my further, car, we fuck went, you. We went further west, we gained more letters. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, the further away we get from fucking where we started, <laughs> the better we are at speaking language. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, it was good, though. Fireworks. I did mushrooms on a roof. Pretty dangerous oh, yeah. place that's to do a, yeah, mushrooms, dude. But you know what? To... We take risks. <laughs> <laughs> did you do the mushrooms and then climb on the roof, or you just on the roof? And I did mushrooms, stayed? climbed on the roof. They hit. Then uh, my girlfriend started to be like, "I gotta get down from this roof," and I was like, "Fuck, I gotta get down from the roof too now." <laughs> and so we had to figure out how to fucking get off the roof. <laughs> You're like, damn it, this is the first part. I was like, of ah, shit. Mushrooms, I was hoping she wouldn't fucking <laughs> figure out that we're on the roof yet. Yeah. You just gotta <laughs> lay down and stare up at the sky. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It could be anywhere. <laughs> You're on ground. It's just higher elevation. It's not a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> well, like after all the fires, I thought we'd like ban fireworks or something like that. But yeah, you'd think so. But at least for a Hawaii few, was like least, no, at least for like a year or a little while. Hawaii's while like rebuild. that's not why the fire happened. <laughs> <laughs> and they're right. <laughs> we were like. Fire was started by the electric company, all right? Not by my $80,000 worth of fucking aerials. Yeah. <laughs> Still risk aversion at some point. <laughs> like, yeah, what well, I mean, come on. I don't have an argument. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but they look cool. Shut yeah, up. Yeah, but come on. <laughs> yeah, it's a solid argument. Fucking howly. <laughs> Ruining my fucking you island. You court. Don't represent yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, jury, but, you know, come on. Yeah, we found the murder weapon in your closet. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't have a murder weapon in their closet? Oh, what, what the fuck, dude? What am I supposed to say to that? <laughs> hey, um, the, the opposition's making this really hard on me. Yeah. Why would you say that, dude? <laughs> like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> they'll bring they will bring up some evidence against you, and you're like, against you, and you're like, yeah, that is a good point. They are. Yeah, wow, yeah, I do remember yeah, doing they that. They got me there. That's uh... <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm not good at court. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late to get a lawyer. <laughs> Can I still get a lawyer? Is anyone in this crowd? A l- Can I have one of your lawyers? Yeah. Why do you have multiple lawyers? You have like a free agent over there or fair. something? Like, come over the fucking, the underdogs. It's more exciting to win with a losing team than it is with a team that's already winning. 
<laughs> you can be a, you can be the guy who turns this franchise around. Yeah, Wouldn't that be cool? You'd be a hero. <laughs> <laughs> Over there, they don't even know your name. You're just another suit and tie. <laughs> just some guy you'll do fucking 10 years, not Hall of Fame worthy career. Yeah. You saved my life. You're invited over to holidays forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you'll be the guy that got that murderer off. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> what do you mean I should shut up? And this is free advice you're giving me. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not coming over, but you are advising me. I'll take it. <laughs> the court heard that is court my advisor. Heard. He's advising me. He can no longer say things that are against me because that's lawyer. Yeah, lawyer, yeah lawyer, client, lawyer, client. privilege. <laughs> <laughs> he did it <laughs> that's my that's my argument now. Give a thumbs up was yeah. that good <laughs> <laughs> just point someone out on the jury it's probably that guy that guy looks guilty look at that guy <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah dude did you go anywhere for christmas or new year's no i stayed home i just went to uh oklahoma for shows and just came back from there oh yeah so fucking white Christmas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> White's only Christmas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you did. I didn't go during Christmas though. <laughs> I went after when it was safe again or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. It was it was fun. What was your favorite city in Oklahoma? You like I mean, Tulsa yeah. or Oklahoma City? Oklahoma City was the better crowds, but Tulsa was fun still. It's the newer comedy club. Okay. Where, are they both Brick, like the same demographic there? Brick I've only Town. been to Oklahoma City. I've never been to Tulsa. I mean, they were both similar demographic for Craig because Craig's show. Oh, yeah, it's true. So it's, like, that's one of the things. Like, everywhere you go has the offshoot of people, has the younger crowd, has the druggies, has whatever whatever crowd you're going to have. So once once you actually sell tickets... It's really cool. Then yeah. You're, then you're not like at the mercy of who just kind of randomly yeah. goes out to the club. That's my fucking life, dude. That's the best. Yeah. Every time I headline, it's like anyone who got free tickets because they complained last week. Yeah. <laughs> and they're gonna probably. Yeah. And they're not gonna like week. me. Yeah. <laughs> they're not gonna like this either. <laughs> if if you're the type of person coming out to a free comedy show for no other reason than it's free, probably not gonna like me. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I'm not gonna be your comic. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a. I am a good deal, but not, not, not because like it's a good show. Yeah. Just because I'm a uh, not successful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's. I was flying around and saw the uh, the Boeing planes losing their windows or. Oh yeah, that was fun to fly around during that. Yeah, it's fun to be booking flights and be like, these planes are not doing well. We literally the day two days before I flew away that the thing like the plane leaving portland like exploded and i read the article and they're like yeah it's been cleared to not even fly to hawaii as i like board a boeing plane out of hawaii <laughs> yeah. i'm like oh god it was, it's a specific what other one. ones aren't the, cleared yeah. to fly to hawaii that they're letting fly around you know <laughs> it's the max yeah you know? yeah it's all the new ones it's all the that's the newest is one. that the newest yeah okay Boeing just fucking eventually like just let little Chinese kids make your plans so they're safer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like don't let fucking American engineers touch anything. Yeah, yeah. We, we We're just need trying to import to... engineers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Get these little fucking iPhone kids. <laughs> they can screw the bolts in tight. Yeah. Yeah, little hands. I don't know. How, didn't we have some problem with one of the iPhones like catching fire or something at one point? <laughs> I feel Maybe. Like no, no, some... that was a Galaxy. That was one of oh, the Samsung the ones. Okay. Yeah. Do kids not make the Galaxies? No, those are Boeing those engineers. Those are American. <laughs> 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 Those are made by Boeing. <laughs> Dude, I literally, I'm Anything not, faulty. if I can find like a fucking Airbus, like I want to look up what kind of planes are being flown by an airline. Like I don't want American planes anymore. Oh, yeah, like I yeah. truly, I'm, give me the fucking well, I mean, European ones, dude. These planes, it, it said it too. It's like uh, the two airlines that have most of the planes are Alaska Airlines and Spirit. And I was like, yeah, I could have guessed that. <laughs> United has a ton United, of them too. Oh, yeah. United's got some too. Yeah, United has, I think it's like 60% of their fl like fleet. Yeah. And I flew, no, I flew, I might have flown United out of Hawaii too. God, yeah. And I used to love Alaska also, but then I found out it's like, like 60% of their fleet is fucking... Yeah, they're not a great Boeing one. Air Maxes, dude. I'm like, yeah. Jesus Christ. 
I love your TV screens, but how about you fix the door? Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then with Spirit, it's just a safer way to land as you jump out the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're, well, someone's luggage will knock you out <laughs> and during turbulence, so yeah. you'll fucking sleep all the time. <laughs> I still won't fly Spirit, dude. But now I think it's not... Maybe the safety thing isn't in the money. Like, now it's like... Because Alaska used to be like... Oh, like a pretty nice one. I would like look for Alaska flights. Now really? I'm like, now I'm uh, fucking avoiding those. They're like, what? I mean, I at this point, all all airlines are a whatever <laughs> airline, to be honest. Yeah. I've been booking with American and Delta both do basic economy now where you don't get to choose your seat. I know. Anything. Yeah. Delta even like, got worse. If you dude. want a seat, you got to pay us. I'm like, what the fuck? This is. Yeah. That, that's Southwest model. <laughs> I know. For real, dude. <laughs> you guys are all just taking it. Yeah. So they're all. They're all talking to each other and be like, how can we screw over people just a little bit more? Yeah. Hey, we don't need all the bolts on these doors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these bolts are just fucking extra. They're for aesthetic. What, what if we did six less bolts per window? Like, how much money would I save? Yeah. The second they hit fucking a thousand feet. <laughs> <laughs> Sucking babies out the window. We're, we're going to be flying at 950 feet today because if we break a thousand. <laughs> He's <laughs> like, man, planes seem to be flying very low. Just fucking <laughs> scraping the tops of skyscrapers. Buzzing, yeah, buzzing by houses. <laughs> they all fly out over the ocean now because they're too low to go through cities. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Takes more gas, but the planes don't fall apart in the sky. Yeah. So <laughs> We no longer can fly to the East Coast because of the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> we just avoid. <laughs> you got to go by carriage again. <laughs> <laughs> Bus is gonna be faster again. At some point. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's no radar because none of them can get over a thousand feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's just someone with binoculars. Yeah. Like we just watch the planes now. Yeah, it's coming in. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how though, like over time, air travel just gets worse and fucking worse. Like the technology gets worse. How does the technology get worse? You know what I mean? Like. Back yeah. in like the sixties, it was like a fucking first. Everything was first class, and I mean, yeah. planes got hijacked all the time. Right. But it was yeah, always yeah. like, you know, they just take them somewhere else. They wouldn't crash them. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, they, they hijacking were, planes was like a fun thing to do on a weekend. They were so easy to fly. You didn't even know how to fly them. You could just hijack one, and you're like, I can figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> just keep the other pilot alive. Yeah. <laughs> It is crazy, though, when you look at, like, how many hijackings there were before 9-11. They yeah. let all those fucking happen. <laughs> They're like, we're not going to add a TSA. They'd land every time. They, yeah. <laughs> we come back at some point. Yeah. <laughs> they drop some money off somewhere. Or... <laughs> yeah. I don't want to be... Bring back those hijackers. Yeah. Where it's like, man, I can't wait for my trip to New York. Oh, I'm going to Miami. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Glad I brought flip flops. Right. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Yeah. You always bring summer clothes <laughs> just in case your plane gets hijacked to a nicer place. <laughs> some, Ooh, Bahamas. So, some guy who can't, yeah, can't afford to go to like an <laughs> island or something. It's just like, just book a flight to <laughs> Cleveland, <laughs> fly to fucking the Key West. Come on, this is going to be the flight. This one's going to get me, this going to get me yeah, to just, a resort. Just can't take a cheap flights, open some of the to the, <laughs> I went to Cancun last year. <laughs> getting back's difficult, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, getting back's hard. <laughs> see, uh, speaking of hijacking, did you see the the gang, the drug gangs taking over Ecuador. Oh yeah, it was Ecuador, right? Yeah, yeah. I saw that. <laughs> Could have, I could have called that. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a place has take has been taken over by drug gangs. Yeah, All right, give me a few guesses. Was it Ecuador? <laughs> <laughs> they just like showed up at the news and just like took over the news broadcast. Yeah, it's fucking crazy, dude. Wild, like a prison riot that spilled into the city. Yeah, I think was that what happened, right? I think so. Uh, which I also think is the plot of one of the Batman movies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, where's Ecuador Batman? <laughs> El Batman. Yeah. I am El Knight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be fucking... You'd hate to lose... Like, you lose the prison riot. Like, you're one of the losing gangs in that one, you know? So you're like, oh man, I can't even escape outside of the prison. Oh yeah, are the gangs still Let's fighting see. each other? Or did the gangs gang up on... Just society. <laughs> what? Yeah, maybe they did team up. <laughs> I don't know. That seems like the way to do a proper, uh, 
bust out of jail thing is like, hey, you know how we've all been fighting? There's like seven guards. <laughs> yeah. It's like reading Rainbow. We'll figure this together. Yeah. <laughs> the white supremacists and the DC blacks. <laughs> <together>. <laughs> they put aside our differences. <laughs> they take over ABC. <laughs> yeah, that's the merger that really scares fucking the yeah, news, the, yeah, the, the news merger. conglomerates. <laughs> Like when Nipsey Hussle died and they all, uh, Bloods and Crips put aside their differences for a, a week or something. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd take over a news station. I don't know what I'd say, though. This is like <laughs> as bad as good as it is, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't have a message. <laughs> I love that idea, too. They take it over and they're like, oh, no, I have, uh, they're like, I'm afraid to be on camera. <laughs> yeah. They're like, go Nazis. Ah. Uh, that, is that what we were? <laughs> yeah. We really should have figured out yeah. a message plan. I should have thought, yeah. Before. <laughs> Put your shirt back on. You look ridiculous. <laughs> I feel so stupid. Well, now. guys, just flexing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> what have I become? <laughs> can I do weather? Can I do the? Can I do the weather guy with the green screen thing? Yeah, <laughs> it looks fun. That's got to be a sick rock bottom. You're in the fucking weather station being like, man, I've really gone astray here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, Ecuador. Oh, yeah. That was, I was like, there was an article I read, uh, just the headline of a little bit ago that um, is insane. Uh, it's a little dark, but, you know, so <laughs> gangs taking over <laughs> Ecuador. Uh, there was a... There was a couple found in in their home and uh, found dead because the heater was set to a thousand degrees Fahrenheit. What? How's that a setting on? How you turn that up? <laughs> on yeah. <a> heater. <laughs> How does it get that hot? I don't know. That shouldn't be. That's like particle collider heat. Yeah, that that's, that's like fucking. Maybe maybe that's what they were doing. They were trying to like. Uh, Is that real? Fix. Can we pull that up? The thousand. <laughs> the thousand degree. Thousand degree. Death? I just saw it today. It's it's a it was a new article, maybe in because I'll because I'll pretend the, I'll, I'll South guess Carolina about or something. Yeah, South Carolina couple dead. Heater measured a thousand degrees. What the fuck, dude? How do I get that heater? I didn't. Yeah. That thing rules. <laughs> That's you know, the sun. Found dead in the bedroom. <laughs> the home's heater. Oh my! Oh, it reached. So it's not a setting. It probably. It was just a thousand degrees, the heater. But how does it reach? Was it like a I wanna see if it was um if how? it was a fucking like if it was one of these radiators. It was so hot it looked, it looked oh, like the yeah. basement was on fire. That, that's what I was gonna say. How hot's like a campfire or something? What's just like the heat that comes off actual fire? <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, that <laughs> sounds like... less than a thousand. I <laughs> yeah, I like. pretty I think it's like three hundred or something like that, or yeah. four hundred. Jesus Christ. A thousand just like obliterates you. You're like, babe, can we please turn off the heater? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's still cold. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> girls are, the women are always so cold. Uh, God, why are always so fucking cold? <laughs> Put on a blanket. That's the last thing he ever said. <laughs> I got you a snuggie. Put on some socks, <laughs> please. <laughs> I got you wool socks. Just wear your wool socks. Look at these names. Joan Little John. That's a funny name. And then Glenwood. <laughs> Glenwood and Little John, dude. Sounds like some fucking Tom Sawyer characters. Yeah. <laughs> they, don't, they don't sound like they died of a, a thousand degree heat. They sound like they died in the year 1000. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I did. laughs> it was the summer of 1862. <laughs> Joan Little John, dude. That's another kind of porn star name. I love those. Glenwood's a fucking crazy name. What's like Glen? Glenwood's like a sounds like a forest. Yeah, I think it might be a forest. Also, probably is a forest. Yeah, <laughs> they're named after the forest, or the forest is named after them. And at that point, maybe. Yeah, and they're pretty old. <laughs> eighty-two. You die of heat stroke at eighty-two. You had a good life, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, also, that's something other than heat stroke at a thousand degrees. <laughs> <laughs> that's met. That's melting. Damn. They just didn't want to pay for the cremation. <laughs> <laughs> My dad told me he had a hundred and six degree fever, 
this when I was back home. Yeah. And I texted Christina. I was like, hey, is that bad? And she's like, he needs to go to the hospital right now. That's really bad. And then he was like, no, no, I'm in 100.6. And I was like, you got to say point. Yeah. When you're, you're talking about fucking. That way different. Yeah. 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 106. Yeah. That's great to say it like that, dude. And that's fucking insane. It's like, you're like, I, uh, I blew 8% alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, I mean point point zero 0.08. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not even close. Not even, yeah, this is not even the ballpark. <laughs> 100 and you're like you your dad might be dead already <laughs> like, yeah dude, that's you probably a fucking... missed his chance to go to the hospital <laughs> yeah it's over dude you're not <laughs> i think my dad had a hundred and like three or four degree temperature when he was a kid and he lost a part of his hearing in one Jesus. of his ears yeah still yeah yeah never had it lost it when he was a kid and never got it back damn well he didn't or at least like, that's what he tells me. It might just be like, hey, man, don't talk to me. I can barely hear. Just leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear your shit. Yeah, that fucking... I've lost my... I don't think I've... Somehow I haven't lost any hearing. I was in like... I'd be around music a lot. And yeah. I'm sure it's going to go someday. Yeah, same. But I get... Uh, I get like the tinnitus type thing in the ear every once in a while every once in a while something will happen and my my ears just buzz a little yeah i get that too yeah i'll just be like stroke stroke nope phew <laughs> toast is that my smelling toast yeah i can't hear but no toast i'm good <laughs> <laughs> is there blood coming out of my ear or anything <laughs> yeah. okay i got my I hands i think that's still okay though <laughs> no worries yeah, something else i ate beets i think yeah <laughs> I hate too many beats. No, that's my piss. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> yeah, I, uh. I don't know. Wasn't there a way you could lose your hearing? Going to a lot of concerts? Yeah. Heat stroke? There's got to be other ways. Uh, using the Q tips and pushing too far? People have done oh, that. Oh, yeah, dude. I heard you're not supposed to do it. You got to, uh, you got to wash your ears now. That's a big thing. Yeah, just fucking gun it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't try to get to the other side. Yeah. Oh, look at nutritional deficiencies will lose your ear or lose your hearing. Oh, wow. You can lose your foot and hearing from not eating right. <laughs> yes. Stuff to start falling off of shit. if you yeah. eat good food. You're just like a zombie if you don't eat well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I saw, I met a guy when I was out. For Christmas, he's like, he has two different eye doctors because he has like different fucking problems with his eyes. Like for each eye, he's got a different doctor. I'm like, dude, you're going to lose your sight. That's, Just give yeah. it up. <laughs> two different doctors. You, you should be going to a, a school for the blind right now and, <laughs> yeah. and learning some, some stuff before this happens. <laughs> he was like 80 something too. Oh. Nice guy. Oh, well, at that point, I mean. He had 80 good years of hearing, you know, or yeah, seeing. Seeing. Let the eyes do what they're going to do. Yeah. Fucking, just slowly going before the rest of you. I'm like, have you tried eye drops? <laughs> <laughs> Get some Japanese eye drops. They're stronger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're banned. Here. Yeah. Um. All right. What's a? What's a fucking? What the hell's going on here? Dude? I don't know. We're, we're right at the end. <laughs> we're right at the 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah we are at the end. <laughs> I guess. I don't, I don't think I had anything else I'm right now. Out. I don't know if there's any. Oh, let's see if I can fucking find something else. Yeah, something to end on. Um. Well, I'll just try this joke, I guess. But um, this is the one that you didn't like, and I'm going to do it on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. But I saw, because, yeah, you disagree with it, so it's perfect. Yeah. And we'll fucking, we'll get into a huge argument about it, <laughs> and it'll we'll ruin the pod. Up. And it'll ruin the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> no, I saw the, the Epstein list. It's like a bunch of celebrities, right? It's like fucking Stephen Hawking and all these other guys that are like, just kind of like famous. Mm. Like, I was hoping to see like billionaires on it. There's, there's got to be some on there, right? I mean, I, mean, I, I haven't I, looked through the whole list. I looked through some. It's probably the names I didn't recognize are <laughs> yeah, the, the yeah, richer people. Sense. But like, I don't know. I was hoping to see some like, oh, the fucking Nestle guy, like the yeah. water guy is sucking off kids or whatever yeah. the fuck. You know what I mean? Like, they've got their own island. Yeah, yeah. There's, they're. We don't even know <laughs> they're Epstein. <laughs> yeah, they're Epstein's all their guy. 
But it's like, I don't know, like, it seems like going to Epstein Island is like what you do with like new money. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's like, like you've been broke and you're like, oh, I'm rich now. I'm going to, it's like buying an Escalade when you get drafted to the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to go check out the Epstein Island, dude. <laughs> I just think it's easier to blackmail those people than it is to blackmail the Nestle guy. He's already said so much stuff yeah. on his own and we haven't stopped it. I know, like, yeah. The Nestle guy went out and it's like, you don't deserve water. Yeah. <laughs> also, I fucked kids. Fuck off. Yeah. Who cares? Suck my know? dick. <laughs> what are you going to do about it, bitch? <laughs> I, am a, I am a real super villain. <laughs> well, I don't be- feel like we got any, I don't feel like we got much new stuff. It was all the names that we already got. Yeah, it was very disappointing. Ago. It was like Bill Clinton. I'm yeah. like, yeah, I know. Yeah, we know. Everyone started making fun of Stephen Hawkins again. We we found that out. But my thing with him, I was like, to be fair, he's the one person you can make be wherever you want him to be. You know, he's he's got the least choice of where <laughs> of where he is. <laughs> you can yeah, just that's put not him his, somewhere. Yeah, that's his fucking handler's fault, yeah. dude. It's <laughs> not on him. Yeah. <laughs> What plane am I on? <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, no. Get me oh, off. No. Get me off. Get me off. That's what he's saying to those midgets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what the teenager blowing him was saying, too. Yeah. Get me off. His also, too. It's like, hey, I thought we weren't kink shaming or whatever. This is just a weird kink. He didn't even do anything. Yeah. <laughs> he can't do anything. He liked watching midgets solve difficult math equations on high whiteboards or something. <laughs> What if we find out that that was like, that's the cure to what disease he had is like banging teenagers in a massage room or something. Like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's actually been walking lately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's stronger than he's ever been. <laughs> I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, that's not good. Yeah. Fetuses aren't doing it anymore. I need aged fetuses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like stem cells. Yeah. <laughs> you need the... <laughs> More advanced stem cells, you know, people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the best stem cells come from uh, women who want to go to art school. <laughs> it's like veal or something. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I heard Jesus from the control room. <laughs> that's probably a place to. Stay. Yeah. That's, and that's where we'll leave it. I like that. Ending on a strong one. <laughs> I did this with uh, I tried it on stage a couple times too But with the The tax bracket of the people who went to Epstein Island and whatnot It's like it's whole separate tax bracket I just think it's wild that we have like It's like first you owe like No taxes Then you get to like 40% taxes 60 And you know like 80% taxes And then there's this higher tax bracket Where you don't owe any taxes And you get to fuck little kids It's like (laughs) What a wild (laughs) That's the punishment for Not paying taxes (laughs) (laughs) You have to go We're gonna put you on the pedophile list Yeah you don't "Ah, You don't have to Fine I'll pay my taxes (laughs) You don't have to pay taxes But you have to be on the flight logs (laughs) Yeah like no (laughs) Ah all right, so I'll take my money out of fucking the islands off Florida. Or <laughs> <laughs> that would be so. that's how the government gets. Fucking there. We know you haven't paid a lot of taxes these last couple of years, even despite making all this money. So we got you. We got you a flight. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fine. I'll go. <laughs> um. All right. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's where it is. That's what we do. Two dumb babies. That's the podcast. Where are you where are you gonna be this week, dude? Or this um, month? Um when this comes out, I'll be in Austin, Texas at Vulcan on the twenty fifth with Craig Conant and then Fort Worth, Texas the next the twenty sixth, twenty seventh with him. Okay. Also. And then Appleton, Wisconsin, the second and third big of Apple. February, the Big Appleton. <laughs> <laughs> this place is uh, these buildings are much smaller than I yeah. thought. I thought, um, where's all the gangs and homeless people? <laughs> <laughs> and then a bunch more. Go to go to my website, ericjfriedman.com. Hell yeah. Um, I'm going to be in Austin also uh, on the 4th with uh, Liam Culler. Uh, one of the Friday beers guys. So that'll be fun. Yeah, hanging out with the with the boy. 
With the I'll be boys. I'll be out there for like a week. So uh, yeah, come fucking check us out. It'll be fun. I can't remember. I think we're doing the Vulcan or something like that. So nice. yeah, um, that's fucking that's the pod, dude. That's the fucking show. You listened. You were there. We were here. We had a good time. We fucking you know. We'll do it again next week. It'll be great. These sign-offs are getting worse. Yeah. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next week. <laughs>